Innovation, it's the key to every successful business, the catalyst behind new ideas, and the driving force for a better tomorrow. Innovation, pushed by leaders that lay out the blueprints for success, and the employees that then put the pieces together. This innovation is being performed right here, right now, in Lancaster. This is BYD, the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer in the world. BYD Company began its journey as a member of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange as a consumer electronics battery manufacturer in 1995, with a majority of its products found in many cellular, tablet, and laptop devices. A fraction of the business was in the new energy space as well, creating battery storage solutions, solar panels, and LED lighting. As the company continued its success in battery technology, Mr. Wang Chuanfu, founder and CEO of BYD Company, sought to expand in the direction of clean technology within the automotive industry. It was decided that BYD would direct its focus on not only assembling batteries for automobiles, but manufacturing automobiles as well. This would be the beginning of something that would eventually define BYD for what it is today. BYD Auto was founded in 2003. In 2008, BYD Auto unveiled its first fully electric compact car, the E6, placing BYD on the fast track to major success. The popularity of BYD and its innovative approach toward green technology sparked the interest of the North American market. By this time, recently elected City of Lancaster Mayor R. Rex Paris had been introduced to the company and saw BYD as an opportunity to create more jobs in Lancaster, boost the economy of the city, and contribute to Mayor Paris's initiative to become the alternative energy capital of the world. Mayor Paris introduced BYD to one of the premier home builders in the United States, KB Home with the goal of building a 100% energy efficient home which would be affordable to Lancaster residents. Within 45 days, we are now breaking ground on the most energy efficient, affordable house in the world. In July 2010, Mayor Paris, BYD and KB Home unveiled the first net zero home, a 100% energy efficient home the ultimate example of a thriving partnership with American and Chinese companies. But this was only the beginning for this newly found partnership. History was made once again in May 2013 when BYD opened its first North American manufacturing facility, thus making BYD the first Chinese-owned vehicle manufacturer to operate on North American soil. We're going to be the first net zero city in the world. And I think it's fitting that the first net zero bus is going to be built here. And what is really exciting to me is that it's a global cooperation with a global partnership that is going to be producing these buses. So welcome to the alternative energy capital of the world. I think it's uh, splendid and I take note uh, city leaders remark that it uh, very well may be the beginning of a new industry. I've uh, rode a lot of buses in Los Angeles, Orange County. This one's definitely different. It's quieter, um, a lot smoother. From frame installation to electrical wiring, every piece of a BYD manufactured bus is essential. But the most crucial elements of any electric bus are the batteries produced at BYD Energy an extension of the manufacturing plant also located in Lancaster just 10 minutes away. To ensure quality and reliability, the batteries are tested before they are transported to the main facility. The initial demand for a BYD energy efficient bus was high. By 2015, BYD had delivered buses to Los Angeles Metro gaining a number of contracts to produce more electric buses to outside clients along the way. What you have is a bus we are building, the Denver RTD. They have a very famous shopping mall and they pro provide free shuttle service. Just received 
a order from Long Beach Transit yesterday for 10 buses with an option for 50 more buses. The Antelope Valley Transit Authority serves the populations of Lancaster and Palmdale, as well as the outlying areas, operating a fleet of more than 75 buses. In February 2016, the ABTA decided to convert its fleet of diesel fuel buses to 100% electric buses. This resulted in the award of a contract with BYD for the purchase of up to 85 electric buses. We are building quite a few of them very proudly. As you can see here on this side, we are about to marry these two pieces, the front and the rear, with the articulated joint. It'll look like an accordion when it's uh, assembled. The contract included 16 45-foot commuter coaches and 13 60-foot articulating buses. First in the nation, first in the country, first in the world, all electric. These buses are being run at 31 cents a mile, where our old buses are being run at $1.57 a mile. So they'll pay for themselves within the uh, 12 years that we actually run them. In doing this, we've created jobs, and the Antelope Valley has been the home to BYD. And so taking, taking um, the buses today and, and accepting them is just one more step toward um, realizing the dream of being green by 2018. BYD's progression is zero emission electric technology in conjunction with Lancaster's initiative of becoming a net zero city has sparked the interest of multiple delegates from around the world, spreading the message of a clean energy efficient future to multiple international news outlets. So how we govern, because we just set out, this will be the, this will be the template for the rest of the world to switch to alternative energy rapidly. With this rapid job growth at its Lancaster facility and the increasing demand for its products, BYD began to look for an opportunity to further expand its footprint and increase output to accommodate all of its clients' needs. After months of planning and construction, the expansion was complete. November 2017, Mayor Paris, Wang Xuanfu, and dignitaries from both political spectrums gathered together for the Phase 3 expansion of BYD's manufacturing facility. A clear message to the world that job creation and clean energy is an initiative that everyone can get behind. I think it's incredible. I want to give a lot of kudos to the leadership of the city of Lancaster. I know that uh, times have been very tough uh, given, you know, coming off the worst economic recession since 1929. But to take a leadership role uh, here in Lancaster, irregardless of politics. The expansion brought the facility to nearly 450,000 square feet allowing for up to 1,500 electric buses to be manufactured annually and creating up to 1,200 jobs for Lancaster and the surrounding communities. You know, not only is it for me, my family, but it's my city and my world. I, I, I fully believe in BYD and where it's going. I know that we're only four years old here in the Antelope Valley, but we're, we're making leaps and bounds. The company's quest for innovation and green technology has solidified BYD as a leading company in the pursuit of an emission-free world.